Jennifer of Celtic Knot Crochet and today in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this Plarn Water Bottle Cozy. It works up very quickly, uses just three recycled plastic tablecloths and a clover hook and you'll enjoy using it to carry around your water bottle to the gym, to school, or wherever you may go. Let's talk about supplies for the Plarn Water Bottle Cozy. You'll need a clover hook that is 10 millimeters, N slash P. This is the perfect hook for working with Plarn. It slides easily through it and it's the right size. And then you'll need strips about two inches wide, inch and a half to two inches wide of plastic tablecloths recycled. I'm using three different colors and for this project you only need one tablecloth per color and you'll have plenty left over to make another one. What you want to do to begin is you'll take two thicknesses of the strip when you crochet. So one is kind of not strong enough and two is just right. So you can see I have two thicknesses here and you work with it just like you would any other yarn. Make your slip knot, put your hook in the slip knot and we're going to chain two and then we're going to work six single crochets right into that first chain two chains away from the hook. So we have one, two, and single crochet is hook in, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull through two. And by doing that six times, I create a nice little circle. This cozy is worked from the bottom up. So now I can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then for this next stitch, I'm going to join with a slip stitch to close up that circle. Next, I'm going to chain three. This is now round two. And I'm going to put a double crochet in that same stitch as where the slip stitch was and the chain three is coming out of. And now I'm going to work two double crochets in every stitch around. And that's going to create an increase but help this circle to stay flat. And as a reminder, double crochet is yarn over, hook in, yarn over, pull through the stitch, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And I'm going to continue like that around until I see the slip stitch from the former round. I've done a lot of projects with Plarn and I like to do it as quick as possible. So I found that by cutting the plastic tablecloths into these strips and then joining the plarn as I go is the quickest. So here you can see I'm coming to the end of one of my strips and what I do is I lay the next strip inside like so and you can add a piece of tape, small piece of scotch tape like that and that helps hold it and then I fold the sides in like that and then I continue crocheting as usual. It's a little bit thicker there where we have them overlap but you can't really notice. And now my next length is joined and I continue on. And I found this is the quickest way. You don't even have to use tape if you don't want to but it does help hold it in place while you finish the stitch. So all throughout the project that's how I'm going to join the next strip while I'm working in the same color. 
Here you can see I've gone all the way around. I have my starting chain three right here and the double crochet in that same stitch and then two in each stitch around which gives me 12. And then here's that slip stitch that I used at the end of the six single crochet round one. And I'm going to put two more double crochets into that slip stitch. This helps the circle become a little bit bigger and still stay flat. And then I'm going to insert my hook into the top of the chain three and slip stitch to join. And here you can see the bottom of the cozy is complete. Now what you want to do is test if it will measure up to your water bottle. So you can see it's slightly larger than the base of my water bottle, so I am all set. But if you need a little bit wider of a bottom circle because your water bottle is bigger, in case you use one of the kind that you reuse from time to time, then you can do the extra round that's included in the instructions. And all you would do is you would do two single crochets in this stitch, and then one in this one, then two, one, two, one, and that will keep it nice and flat, but make it just a little bit bigger. So you'll need to experiment depending on what kind of water bottle you're using. Once you have the base the right size, you can keep it the same color, and now you're going to work through the back loop and the back bar, this right here. So there's a back loop of each stitch. You can see here's each stitch. Looks like a braid. So I'm going to insert my hook through this stitch right here, this part of the stitch, but I'm also going to insert it through the first loop that's at the top of the back of the stitch. And I'm going to also do the special stitch. So I chain two, yarn over. I'm going to put my hook through those two loops. I'll show you one more time. The back loop and the top bar on the back of the stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch and through the first loop on my hook. Then yarn over, pull through two. I'll show you that again. This is called the herringbone half double crochet. Yarn over, put my hook through that back loop and then also through that back bar. You see the back bar? Yarn over, pull through the stitch, and through the first loop on my hook, yarn over, pull through two. And I will do that all the way around, working through those special loops for this row only. That helps the project turn up like this so we can start heading upwards with our project. Now that I've gone around and you can see the starting chain two, I'm going to slip stitch to that first stitch and cut the plarn and yarn over and pull through to make a nice knot. And I'll weave that in later. And now I'm going to start the next color. To start the next color, I put the slip knot on my hook and I'm going to do a join in the actual stitch. So I'm going to yarn over. Now I'm gonna work through both loops, pull my hook through the stitch and through that first loop on my hook, and then yarn over, pull through two. And so I've joined the first, the next color without using a slip stitch. And then I continue working this same stitch, working through both loops now, and join at the end of the round as I did before with a slip stitch right in the top of that first stitch, fasten off the color, and I'll continue in the pattern of green, pink, and white, and then I'll have something that looks like this. And I did this for a total 
of, you can see, one, two, three color repeat patterns. So a total of nine rows once I've gotten to the side of the water bottle cozy. When I finish and I have my last yarn tail, I would use my jumbo tapestry needle and feed it in behind all the stitches like so. And I do it a couple more times to make sure it's nice and tucked away and secure. And then I would cut that. And then the last step is to create this handle or long strap. I chained 75 and then I did a half double crochet in each stitch all the way down the length of the chain. And to make this joining easier, I turned my water bottle cozy inside out. And I overlap the end of the handle about two inches from the top. And again, using my jumbo tapestry needle, I sewed it on using a whip stitch like this. And by having it overlap about two inches, then I make sure it's nice and secure across the top here. It can handle the weight and the stress of carrying a water bottle. And I'll do that on both sides, making sure they're even. And then my water bottle cozy is complete. Because it's made with Plarn, it's nice and waterproof, super colorful, perfect to take to school or the gym. And you can see my water bottle fits inside nicely and it can stay inside when I open it up to drink. So I hope you enjoyed making this project. Please give us a thumbs up or click to subscribe and make sure to watch the next Plarn video on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.